We got an update on Andy Reid's son and linebackers coach for the Kansas City Chiefs, Brett Reid. Brett Reid has been placed on administrative leave amid the car crash that he was involved in before the Super Bowl, the day before the Super Bowl. So, yeah, basically, it's, um, there has been a quote by the Kansas City Chiefs themselves, and I want to read this quote out first. This quote says, and I quote, we remain in the process of gathering information on the incident, and we will continue to assist local authorities as requested. Our focus remains on the girl and her family. We have reached out to the family and offer our support and resources to them during this difficult time, and we will continue to pray for her recovery. Um, yeah, so in case people, I'm going to give like the short update. I'm not going to give like a whole, because this is a long story, but basically what happened was Britt Reed was involved in a car accident. That was his fault. He crashed into two cars, and he and this car crash was very serious, and it left a five-year-old girl in critical condition. She is in the hospital right now. Um, yeah, and police also uh, smelled alcohol on his breath, and they had an assumption that he was um, that he was drinking before, and he was on meds as well, and he admitted to that at two drinking and was also on meds. And, you know, Nate, we talked about this top. I'll start first, actually. First of all, I'm still praying that that five-year-old girl um, makes a full recovery. You know what I'm saying? I never want to hear anything about that. I never, I don't want to even like cover stories involving, involving a five-year-old girl being in critical condition over something stupid that Brett Reed did, you know? But, um, so that's, that's first. I want to send my prayers out to her and her family. But, you know, I was looking at the com I was looking at YouTube and I was looking at the comments. And yes, we read your comments. Okay. We we love the feedback that you give us. And we were getting a lot of feedback on this. We were getting a lot of feedback on this issue. And a lot of people were talking about how irresponsible it was. And we got a few comments on this. And I just want to talk about it real quick. Obviously, I completely agree with this. First of all, you should be on administrative leave, especially the fact that this hasn't been his first time, you know. But again, I want to also, I want to emphasize the fact that Britt Reed needs help. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's the first thing that he should do is get help. I know he's going to most likely, I mean, I don't know what kind of legal actions the family is going to uh, push forward on Britt Reed. I assume it's going to be very heavy considering the fact it's their daughter. So with that being said, I mean, Britt Reed might have to face some legal trouble. But with that, I also hope that he has help so that so that he doesn't have to keep going through this because that's the one thing that a lot of people like Brett Reed need is they need they need help they need to get clean and they need to they need to be uh, recovered you know what I'm saying they need to go through recovery so that stuff like this don't keep happening okay it's the evolution they need to evolve as humans as people and uh, into better people so stuff like this with the little girl doesn't happen again or anybody you know what I'm saying St drunk uh, deaths from drunk driving that's a very serious thing Nate you know what I'm saying. And because of it, a five-year-old girl is still in the hospital. And so, obviously, it was a very irresponsible move by Brett Reed to do that the day before the Super Bowl. And it was a very irresponsible move because he put himself in the hospital. He could have seriously hurt himself, too. But he was fortunate enough to not face uh, severe injuries. But that five-year-old girl, as for her, like, it's, you know what I'm saying? That's a completely different story. Like, she's facing very critical injuries because of your dumb mistake. And, you know, I don't know how Britt Reed, Britt Reed, I don't think he's made any comments on this, but when he does, I hope that he understands uh, how severe this is. And I hope that he extends his hand to that family and at least apologizes to them. I feel like that's the, the, they at least deserve that. They deserve so much more than that, but that's a, that's a start right there is to apologize for what he has done. And also I want to credit the Kansas City Chiefs in for, to uh, reaching out for the family, to the family and offering any resources that they possibly can to help them. And I also want to commend them on putting him on administrative leave. Although, act, to be honest with you, I, I expect further repercussions for Britt Reed in the future. So with that being said, I'm just going to end it with, I'm praying for that five-year-old girl as well. And I'll pass it on to you, Nate. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm praying. I'm still praying for that little girl. Um, I hope everything goes well in her favor and with their family. Um, by the way, um, if you guys want to go check out our reaction to uh, uh to Britt Reed's incident, the link to that video will be in the description down below. Right, and one, and on before it. You, Ryan, before you continue, I just want to say this article, it was written by Adam Teicher, ESPN staff writer. So continue, Nate, my bad. Right. Um, so, you know, with that said, you know, I'm glad the Kansas City Chiefs are making moves like this. Uh, I, I, I said it in the last video, I'll continue to say, you know, uh, I, I don't think the students have another job. I really don't. I mean, I mean, just like you said, like you said, Mario, this isn't the first time this has happened. And even if this was the first time, I think this is serious enough for you to not get another job in the NFL again. Right. 
You know what I mean? A lot of people right. can argue, well, why, well, there are, there are guys in the NFL that rape people and they still get jobs in the NFL. You're absolutely right, but like, like it's not every player, you know, some players actually get the hammer and, you know, personally, you know, as much as I don't want to see, uh, see people uh, lose their jobs, you know, you do something stupid like this, it's just going to cost you. You know, it's going to cost you, it's going to cost you a job, it's going to cost you your freedom as a citizen, it's going to do all that kind of stuff, you know, and I hate to see it, but like, when you do stupid stuff like that, it's gonna happen. You gotta expect that. Um, and like you said about Bert, Bert Reed, I absolutely agree. You know, is a is an apology enough? No, I think there's it, you know that that feeling should be given the world and then some. But like like you said, that's the start. You know, some people do this stuff, and they don't even they don't even consider the family. You know, they do it, and it's just like you know, like oh yeah, I did it, and like I'm not even gonna talk to them. Like that's just how they are sometimes. And I really do think that he should reach out to them. Uh, whenever he can, or, or even talk about the matter at that point, because like you said, he hasn't even said anything about it. I don't know if it's because, I don't know if it's because he's still hospitalized or whatever, I'm not sure, um, but if he is hospitalized still tonight, and when he's able to, I do expect him to uh, uh, um, talk about this matter. It's a very serious thing, especially when you're at the level of the NFL. That's that's just something a lot of people don't like to see. Um, so with that being said, I don't really have much else to say about this unless if you do. Other than other than go up to um go up to the five year old girl and her family, we're we're both praying for her dearly. Uh, we hope that everything turns out in her favor. Um, and also go. I mean, even though he did something bad, I still want to wish Brit Reed the best of all. We don't like to talk down to people like that, so right. And just to like touch up on that and go a little bit for uh, just go a little bit in depth with it. Not too much, but I hope that Britt Reed can evolve as a human. You know, at least like quit drinking. You know what I'm saying, or quit. You know what I'm saying? I, at least as a human, I hope that he can evolve. And a lot of people said it in the comments, you know, he's going to receive a little slap on the wrist. And right now, I mean, it seems like a very light punishment. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't seem like it doesn't seem hard enough. So I mean, like, but regardless of what punishment he should deserve, I do. I want this dude to get clean and I want him to go like through to get, I might, basically I want him to get the help that he needs. So, so he don't end up getting into certain incidents like this again, or any other incidents that he's gotten to in the past. You know, we're all humans. We all make mistakes, but all of us are capable of change. We just have to want to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's up to him to want to change. And I hope after this situation that happened with the little girl, I hope that he realizes how severe it is. And I hope that this is the wake up call for him to change and fix his life.